Hello, my name is Kain Sandogenius, and today I'm going to start teaching uh, Android Studio tutorial. We are going to learn how to build Android application and actually test this Android application uh, in a mobile phone. I actually want to make it very easy for beginners. And the interesting thing is, uh, Android Studio is not really difficult. If you don't have knowledge of programming, you can actually follow along the line. You don't need to learn programming first. That is a good thing about uh, developing mobile apps because some think that developing mobile apps is actually more difficult than developing normal desktop application. But actually, the reverse is the case. Developing mobile application is actually easier uh, than developing a desktop application as you don't need to be a programmer to build mobile apps. The reason is because the application we are going to use that is the software we are going to use android studio is actually very easy uh, to use and actually customized for uh, people that actually don't have much knowledge of programming so that is why i call this lesson beginner to expert so and one more thing is that the tools you are going to use this android studio we are going to use in this lesson will be free so hopefully in about seven lessons of let's say 10 minutes or more each we are going to build applications. So one thing I, I, I also decided is that for each lesson, I'm going to develop a uh, build an application, simple application. I'll be explaining along the line as we build this application together. So I'm not going to bore you with so much explanation beforehand. We're actually going to be practicing it and then we'll be explaining as we go. All right, so this is what you need to do. So go ahead to download and install Android Studio. It's free, and I've also done it. So these three steps remaining, we are going to do it actually together. So if you start Android Studio, then we are, we are actually going to do these ones together. I actually wrote a couple of blogs I would like to show you. For instance, I wrote this that says... Um, where to download Android Studio from. Uh, if you want, you can read it up and then follow the steps. But actually, is uh, I know people don't like reading. <laughs> I know you the same thing. Maybe you don't like reading. You like listening and following along and watching the, the video as it goes. So if you are someone that loves reading, so this will be good for you. So this is the steps with the screenshots. And this is what we are actually going to do today to start building our first app. So if you also want to read about mobile application generally, uh, you can also go here and you can see that you can also build application for Windows Phone, for, for iOS, that is iPhone or iPad, and also BlackBerry. This application development uh, work is really not difficult. Uh, I'm going to prove it to you now. So if you want to look up this, you can actually look it up. I put the links to these uh, write-ups in the decision uh, in the description box below. That's why I say if you can build a desktop app, then you can also build a mobile app. But interestingly, if you can't build a, des a desktop app, you can also uh, build a mobile app. Let's get started. I've installed Android Studio. If you have not installed it, just uh, go to the link in the description box and then click on this place. In this place, I put the link and then just click here, download Android Studio. After downloading, you install. All right, so let me just go to programs and go to Android Studio. You can see is installed uh, right here, Android Studio. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to start it. There are some installation that will actually go on uh, along the line as I'm opening it for the first time. So let's wait for it to open. So it takes a little time finding some SDKs that it actually needs to use to to com okay to complete the installation. So so at this point you have the welcome screen. So the next thing to do is to go to next. So let's go ahead to use standards standards. So leave it as it is. Just go next, and then let's allow it to be the way it is. The same thing. So at this point, you come up to this place and then uh, it tells you current settings. You leave it the way it is as well and just go finish. So 
I take some time to set up those components. Remember I told you there are things like SDK and, and the JDK has to be in the system. So what happens at this point is that when it checks and these things are not actually in the system, it will uh, start installing them by downloading it already from the internet. So that is what is happening right now. So I'm going to allow it to download, then we continue from there. So let's you can skip ahead to tutorial two where the download is already complete.